to point R, P, T divides the line segment of point this one in the ratio of 2, 3. Express P in term of T. So, we know that we have A and B. So, basically, if A is here, B might be here. So, this one, A is 2, H and H. So, this one is 2, P and 3, T. So, in the ratio of 2, 3. So, we know that R might be somewhere here where R is P, T. So, we see here, express P in term of T. So, we see here, in term of T, that means only P and T in that one. Okay, so, here we know that to find P, so to find P, this one is X coordinate, we can use the formula of line segment, which is NX1 plus MX2 divided by N plus M to get the X coordinate. So, here, to get X coordinate, which is P, so, what we need to do is that we have to cross multiply. So, what does it mean? So, we see here, divide it to 2, 3. This one is from A to B. So, this one is 2. This one is 3. Right? So, to use this formula, you see here, P. So, here, to get P is equal to, so we cross 2H times 3. 2H times 3. Okay? And then, this one is 2P. You have to cross 2 plus 2p times 2 and then we divide with the ratio which is 2 plus 3 which is 5. So here we get 6h plus 4p divided by 5. But you see here the question p in term of t we don't want h. So we have to find another equation which we can eliminate our h. So here instead of just finding our p we can find our t using the formula right so t because we need to find another relation so for here for t so t can be found here which is our y so we cross multiply again h times 3 plus so this one we have 3t right 2 times 3t so actually it's the same either 2 times 3t 2 times 3t or 3t times 2, you will still get the same answer. Divide by, so this one is 3 times 2. So here we get 3h plus 6t is over 5. This one is t. So do you still remember, for this one, we want to eliminate h. We don't want h. So we have to find what is our h and substitute so that this one, h can be eliminated. So here we see that t, where to write? So t is equal to 3h plus 6t divided by 5. So, we bring this one at one side. So, we know that 3H plus 6T is equal to 5T. So, here, 3H is equal to, so we bring at one side, 5T minus 6T is equal to negative T. So, here, negative T is equal to 3H. So, we wanted to remove H, right? So, H is basically negative 1 over 3 T. You see here, you bring it to one side, negative t over 3 is equal to negative 1 over 3 t. So now you have our h. If we substitute h, then you will remove the h. So here, this one is number 2. So basically, 2 into 1. So basically, p is equal to 6. So you substitute h as negative 1 over 3 t plus 4 p divided by 5. So, you bring at one side this one, 5 times p, you get 5p is equal to, so, 6 times negative 1 over 3, you get negative 2, negative 2t plus 4p. So, you wanted to find p, right? You bring at one side, so 5p minus 4p is equal to negative 2t, so p is equal to negative 2t. So, this one is P in term of T. That means in the equation, only have P and this one only T. So, that's why we need to remove our H.